Okay, this question says, consider the following phase diagram for pure water. It then says, match the three G versus P sketches with the temperatures 0, 0 0.01, and 100 degrees Celsius. So which one of these sketches corresponds to which of those temperatures? With these type of questions, here's the approach. When you're showing G versus P, you're essentially showing three different phases and you're plotting free energy. How do you know which uh, diagram is going to be thermodynamically stable? The way to do that is to look at which one is the lowest at any given pressure. So for example, in this first one that we're looking at, the lowest free energy is clearly gas, that's our lowest phase, up until a point. At a given point, we go from having gas as our species, our phase which is going to be favored, up to liquid. And at no point in this drawing is solid going to be favorable. Let's do the same for this next one. Again, we start out with gas being the species uh, or, the, or the phase which is favorable. And then it transitions to solid up to a point. So solid becomes favorable. And finally, liquid. Let's look at this last one. This one, we have gas as lowest and then liquid. But for one brief moment, right there, we have gas, solid, and liquid all in equilibrium at that point. They're all, none of them has a lower energy than the other. At that point, they all have equally low free energy. Now that you've done this, now we go ahead and look up at the phase diagram and we identify which one of these temperatures um, best describes this behavior. Let's start with at zero. At zero Celsius, right here, we start out as a gas, and as you increase pressure, you become a solid, and eventually you become a liquid. So which one of these three plots does that? Right here, the middle one, gas, solid, liquid. So this must be temperature equals zero degrees Celsius. Now let's do 0 0.01. At 0 0.01, you go from a gas to a liquid, but you do have this triple point where you have all three phases in equilibrium. So this must be temperature equals 0 0.01 degrees Celsius. Finally, the last one, we know it should be temperature equals 100 degrees Celsius, but let's double check. We're gonna go from a gas, and as you increase the pressure, you're going to go to a liquid, and at no point will you see the solid. And sure enough, in this one, we go from a gas to a liquid, and at no point do we see a solid forming.